Captain's Log, Star Date, Columbus Day, 2008. It is time for another update of importance, or should I say of three importances. First off, the uh, Little Big Planet level y'all have heard about. I have, I, have the, I have the beta, and I have completed the level in only two nights, and I got it published onto the uh, Little Big Planet database on the internet. But unfortunately, I was, as I was about to uh, record the video for, to a DVD-R, Apparently my beta had expired, which is kind of bad luck. So I guess I'll just have to wait a week before I can introduce the level fully on a bit on, in a video in video form on the YouTube when the in the game when the official game comes out next week. Little Big Planet only on PlayStation Three. Never accept any invitations, even downloadable to a hat spot. Now the uh, second thing I would like to bring up at this moment. Master Jimmy Hill. Master Jimmy Hill. As you all may know about him, he has perpetrated uh, my. Or he has perpetrated the uh, rights of rights of science here for myself. As you all well know, for the longest time now, that I am the original owner and creator of science ship and roast ship. Uh, this uh, this imposter is blatantly copying everything, note for note for note, from me. And it all started. From my point of view, upon my knowledge, the magazine advert for his so-called action figure. I mean, you take a take a good look at that. Take a look at that. Because all that is is this this side the hedgehog action figure custom painted. I can easily custom paint this to look like that with acrylic paint, even. So simple. And it's so crappy too. The uh, next thing I should uh, talk about. I mean. Alright. His website. Y'all know my y'all know the official and original Sanchu Side logo I've had on there for the longest time. But then you compare that to his mockery. Can you believe that? It's crappy. It's stupid. And then look at the original comic cover for my first comic book. Then look at this mockery. So similar. This guy can't even be original, and yet he parodied himself on Monty Python's Flying Circus. And now for something completely different. The DVD. You all see, I told you all about, I told you all about the footage that, could, that was probably up on YouTube between the various things, but this guy, he blatantly copied that as well. And all we did was take every footage that was all, that was orig that originated from, that, from this DVD, and uh, dubbed his voice just to, just over my name. So instead of me saying Christian Weston Chandler, he just, he just dubbed his over each side by saying Jimmy Hill. And even more, something completely different. It even says on the bottom here, the part of Jimmy Hill is played by an actor. An actor. And look at that freaking cover. It's more based on the it's more based on my original comic cover than the original DVD. Anyway, do not buy from Jimmy Hill. He's a fraud, a phony. Is there anything else I want to talk about him? Oh yeah, and if you and if you all will may well be aware may well be aware of these were the first two Science You Sight logos that were originally up there throughout the evolution of the Science You Sight. The original two images. All right, and now the third and final issue: the uh, internet bullies. You bullies, I know y'all are afraid of me, cause y'all, cause without me, y'all would have nobody to pick on at this point. But you know what? There are so many famous movie stars, so many famous icons that y'all could just pick on easy enough. But you know what? No matter how many times you direct your influences towards me, I'm just ignoring you, cause basically all you're doing is basically being unheard of. You're basically talking to a brick wall. And I am just blatantly ignoring you hands down. So you may as well just give up. Your vo your, vo your opinions and voices are not being heard. Y'all are not scaring me. You're not scaring, y'all are not scaring Blanca. You're, not, you're scaring nobody, misters. It's time to face facts, misters and misses. So with that, I'll leave y'all with the uh, completion of this update. So, good reason to get a PlayStation 3 system 
of at least 60 gigabytes or higher. Because, uh, you know, they have four USB ports, the memory card slots, and able to access the internet wirelessly while four gigabyte lower, two USB ports, no memory card slots, and requires an Ethernet cable to connect to the internet. And, Little Big Planet. And as y'all know from my sponsorship video, or most of the videos I put up on YouTube were, spo were sponsored by Sony and their PlayStation Eye and their PlayStation 3. And also the slideshow that was on the DVD that y'all may have watched on the uh, YouTube as well. Those were done for my PSP and projected with a PSP projector that was only compared with a PSP 1000 series, the thicker one. Versus, uh, like, you know, I could have done it better if I waited for the 2000 series. Where I had the, uh, where I could have plugged in the composite cable and had the thing full screen. But I did not. Because I didn't think of it about then. Alright, so I leave y'all with, the, with those new words. And just a reminder, and y'all will be very well, and y'all won't have to worry. I am safe. I am well. And I'll be staying that way. And I shall keep watch for any bullies. And I will take all necessary steps in due time as I cross those bridges. Be they sound or broken. Thank you very much and have a good day or evening.